When you hear the name of Liverpool, sports fans inevitably think of its football club and its mythical Enfield Stadium. Liverpool is also the Mersey, an important British port, but also a popular diving spot. It is therefore not surprising that the local university set up a diving club in the 70s. At the same time, a sport was beginning to emerge in the country. Underwater hockey, known as octopus. The Liverpool students set up a section specifically for this sport. 50 years later, this club is still active. Between all the charm of the academic life and the historical figure of the club are still present, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Liverpool Octopus University Club. I, I'm, not, I'm not the best player on the team, but I think I'm probably the most enthusiastic about getting other people involved in the sport. Because um, I feel like it's a sport for everyone. And at university, lots of sports people are already good at. So like football, netball, swimming, people have been playing for years in school. But with underwater hockey, it's fresh to everyone. It's new. And this was kind of a welcome distraction for me because um, it kind of combined my love of swimming with quite a nice community and team here. I did look at universities that had octopus clubs because not all of the cities do. I would have gone somewhere if the project was really good, but I mean, this is my favorite hobby. So I was hoping that there'd be a club. As we all know, underwater hockey is a friendly sport. In Liverpool, this conviviality is expressed in the division of training into two parts. The first part of the training is classic, drills, games. The second part is out of the pool. It takes place in one of the many pubs in the city. Oh yes, I love that part. Uh, yes, so after we train, we finish around 10 p.m. So then we go to a pub, which is like like five minutes walking from, he from here. It's a university pub. It's been there like for ages. So that's how we keep our divers and our hockey players together. That's how we keep university students as part of the club because lots of them are no longer university students, as you can tell, lots of them are older. Yes, and it's quite nice to keep in touch with the younger people. It makes me feel younger. It's quite, quite good, actually, of people chatting to me as if I'm one of the students. And, <laughs> and I, I, I got my degree in 1968, so a long time ago. Liverpool University Club is a historic British club. Some of the original players who joined the club at its creation still train regularly at their old university. We've got players here tonight from age 17 to 75, and, and that knowledge, that experience is important. And, and as those players get older, as I get older myself, and uh, maybe fitness levels and, 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 and skill levels diminish, it's lovely to be able to, to pass on skills, knowledge, and, and also uh, contacts that we have in underwater hockey all around the UK and all around Europe and the world, of course, as well. So I've learned a lot more in the last four months than I probably did in my first year there. Um, they're really good teachers. Uh, they expect a little bit because they've been playing so long. I think they forget sometimes what new players actually look like, but they're, they're really good at teaching us. These guys, like Chris, are the pioneer of a club they are still part of after decades. They are privileged witnesses to the evolution of hockey in Liverpool, but also in Great Britain. Gradually more and more people got into it, and then we heard about other clubs playing, and then we had leagues where we could have uh, um, we could play against each other, and if you beat the other team, you took their place. So it was a ladder, a national ladder, but there was also local ladders, so we had quite a few teams in the Merseyside area. Liverpool has been successful in national competitions. Their best result was a second place to finish at the time when Chris was still a student. I think that was because the other team uh, who were um, winning all their games, one of their members hurt his arm and they didn't have any substitutes. So um, we managed to beat them and uh, we went up to took their place. It was Leeds. The club's competitiveness is still alive. Although the main thing is to have fun, in its first competition of the year at the Oxford Winter Tournament, the club won the novice category, a first friendly trophy, which is a good sign for the future. What is certain is that with a united and motivated group, they never walk alone.